What's up YouTube? My name is Kevin and this is a Toad Life Gear Review. Today I'm here with the Go Ruck 15 liter classic bullet ruck in Desert Tiger Stripe. Stick around, I'm going to show you the inside, the outside, walk you through the bag, tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it and I'll get into how I use it. Let's get started. This is a pretty small bag, 15 liters in capacity. Great day bag, wouldn't go much beyond that. Maybe, maybe a short weekend, but really a, a very small bag. So the material is 500D Cordura throughout, except for the back panel is 210D Cordura, as well as the back of the straps. I really like the 210D Cordura on the back. It's the same as the Rucker 4.0 I own. It's very smooth against your skin, definitely won't shred your clothes, makes it a little bit more slick to slide on and off your back. Uh, good material choice for the back, and uh, I really like that as a feature. We've also got the standard Go Ruck silent zipper pulls throughout. So as with the other Go Ruck bags I own, these are paracord with some shrink wrap taper on them. Great length, plenty of purchase for opening and closing zippers. The zippers themselves, I'm not sure what brand they are, but they are very substantial. Those are big zippers on the main compartment. The slash pocket has a slightly smaller zipper. Moving on to the front of the bag, we've got three rows of Molly webbing. Molly's always good as it provides versatility. Uh, there's you know any number of ways you can expand your pack's capacity utilizing this Molly. Above that, we have the standard Go Ruck slash pocket. Uh, the main difference in this slash pocket is there's no flap covering the zipper from some of my other packs, but uh, it is a very deep slash pocket. Again, with the Go Ruck slash pockets, however, you're not getting a lot of volume. So you can fit some flat stuff in there, quick access, easy stuff that's nice and flat will fit in there nicely. If you've got this bag really loaded out, you're not going to get any bulkier items in there. Above the slash panel, slash pocket, we have the patch panel. This is the patch that came with it, so it's a desert colored Go Ruck spear tip flag that says Go Ruck underneath. It's a nice patch, fits the color scheme of the bag nicely. Uh, and that is pretty much it for the front of the bag. Moving on to the sides of the bag, you'll notice the sides are slick, no molly webbing whatsoever. Uh, that is absolutely fine with me. I think the profile of this bag is slim. It's a small day bag. I don't see the need for molly on the side, so really I'm fine without it. Moving on to the back of the bag. We've got the two straps with uh, molly webbing down each. I do like having the molly webbing on the straps. Uh, that allows for accessories. I don't see ever using a sternum strap on this bag, but I guess you have the option to do that because of the molly webbing. I do have some web dominators on there, which I can use to uh, hold a, a water bladder hose in place if I chose to put a water bladder in here. Much like the rest of Go Rex packs that I own, there is a water bladder access port under some Velcro under the grab handle. You can route a water hose out from a bladder and I would route it down one of the straps and use the uh, web dominators to hold it in place. So the straps are, for a bag this size, very comfortable. They, they, they are very nicely padded. The padding is a little bit stiff, but not too stiff. They're nice and wide for a pack this size. One more thing to note about the back, there is no frame sheet. There is no bomb proof laptop compartment in this pack either. So they do make a 16 liter version of this that has the bomb proof laptop compartment. This one does not. It is however, very nicely padded. So there's some, what feels like foam padding inside there, very nicely padded. Does add a little bit of rigidity to the bag, but not the same effect as having a, uh, a very stiff frame sheet in there. I would also note that the bottom is also 510D Cordura. Whereas some of their other packs have, you know, a, a ballistic nylon wear spot or material on the bottom. This one does not. It is, however, also padded. So there's a, some type of foam padding in there, it feels like, and it's uh, got a little bit of rigidity to it. So that's nice. You, you can, I guess, have some peace of mind that you're not going to necessarily really beat stuff up that sits in the bottom of the bag when you drop it. Okay, I want to take a quick peek inside the slash pocket, show you how I've got that loaded out. And I've got it loaded with the items I would consider my standard 
go ruck slash pocket loadout and uh, that is a topo design pouch secondary ifac personal care bag and then my go ruck standard size wire dot so again with the slash pockets on the go rug bags they are deep but they don't offer a lot of volume these two items fit perfectly in there for me and just to show you that you know this is not empty or you know it's got a little bit of bulk to it i do have a 30,000 mil amp battery in there some cables and accessories and that folds up nicely inside the go rug wire dop it doesn't fit great width wise. You could shove it in there width wise, but it's much easier to put it in lengthwise in this pack. And then the top of design pouch sits right on top of it, providing easy access to that. It is something I access quite often. Moving on to the inside of the bag. This is a small pack, 15 liter capacity, makes a great day bag or a grab and go bag. It works out perfect for what I've been using it for, and that is a grab and go videography slash photography bag. So I'll go ahead and open up the main compartment. First thing you'll notice is full clamshell open. I really like that feature. I like to be able to access the entire contents. Nothing's gonna hide from me in a dark corner in this bag. I'm not opening a half zip bag and trying to dig in to find stuff. You've got full clamshell access to the inside of this pack for loading out and getting at everything you need. On the top panel is very similar to most of GORUX bags that I own, and that is a very large mesh pocket and then a smaller solid pocket, both top zip access. And then you've got the GORUX bullet ruck patch on there. So this one I use for some odds and ends. I've got some memory cards in there and some other accessories. This is typically my snack pocket. And then inside, we have the main compartment. So I'm able to stuff a lot of stuff in there. I've got a small camera cube in there or camera bag, my drone, a gimbal, and the DJI mic setup. And then underneath all of that, I've got my iPad Pro. So that fits in that pocket perfectly um, with no um, case I should note if you have a case on there outside I got the magic keyboard on it but if you want a protective case on there you're probably gonna have a hard time getting it in there uh, I'm fairly confident though as long as you're not really throwing this bag around or stepping on it that that's not gonna get broken in there we've got as I mentioned earlier the thick padding on the back and I'm not putting anything hard or solid on top that's really gonna screw it up but I think that cover is sufficient protection moving on to the main interior part We've got a D-ring at the top. That's a pretty substantial and thick D-ring. If you want to hang a water, or water bladder off of that, route the hose out the top, you can definitely do that. And then below that, we've got uh, basically a simple pocket that's not expandable and does not have any elastic, but again, works out perfect for putting my iPad in there. And that's about it for the Go Ruck Bullet Ruck. I think the, uh, the, the simplicity of this bag is very appealing. It's a great grab and go bag, as I mentioned, works out perfect for a grab and go camera bag for me. Uh, the other thing I like, and uh, you know, if this thing's empty, there's no frame sheet in there, it, it's bendable, it's flat. This will fit perfectly in the bottom of a GR2, for instance, and you could pack it up on top of that. When you get where you're going, you've got a great day bag that you can pull out so you don't have to carry that massive travel bag around with you. I will definitely be using it for that purpose. I have not yet, but it's definitely gonna be part of my use case for this. As far as the, the Desert Tiger Stripe color goes, I think it's a pretty cool color. Uh, it's unique, it stands out. If you're trying to blend in, probably not a great color, but uh, I do like the way it looks and I think it's pretty cool. So let's sum up what I like and what I don't like about this bag. Really, <clears throat> there's not much to not like about this, so I'll start with the dislikes because really there's none. So I'd, I haven't run into any problems with it. There's no part of it that I don't like. Uh, I think that for the use or for the purpose, it's perfect and uh, not sure there's anything to improve on it. 
As far as the likes go, I like that it has many of the standard features I've become used to in Go Ruck packs, like the flash, or I'm sorry, slash pocket, the internal mesh pockets, and uh, I like the simplicity of it. I like the 210 on the back. The 510 is also plenty sufficient. I'm sorry, the 500 decoder is also plenty sufficient for this pack, keeps it nice and lightweight. I like the fact that you can load this out in a bigger pack and have a day bag when you get to your destination. Uh, I guess if I were to mention one thing that would have been nice to have, maybe maybe some ballistic nylon on the bottom, um, but not something I'd ever really even considered. And for the size of this bag and the weight you're likely to not have in it, you're not going to load this out with 500 pounds, right? So I, I don't see the real need to have that abrasion resistant material on the bottom. So great pack for the money. It is well built and I would feel comfortable recommending this to anybody as a day bag.